All right, let's look at, uh, let's continue to look at the other other questions. Now, um, the, a number is chosen at random. So we got nine numbers here. What's the probability that it will be odd and divisible by, divisible by three? Okay, first we check how many events are taking place. Only one event. What is it? A number is chosen. Just one event. And this is end question. There is end here. So what am I going to do? First, I will look the probability of having an odd number. Having an odd number means uh, what are the possible outcomes? Odd numbers out of these nine numbers is one, three, five, seven, and nine. There are five numbers. So probability will be five out of nine times and times divisible by three. Out of these five numbers, how many of them are divisible by three? You got two numbers divisible by three. That is three and nine. So the probability will be two out of five. So the answer will be simplify two out of nine. Even or above five. So what is the probability of having an even number? Uh, since, okay, uh, uh, what are the possible outcomes of even numbers? So let's write it down here. Um, so that could be two, that could be four, that could be six and eight. Uh, or above five. Above five means that could be six, seven, eight and nine. All right, so do we have anything in common between these two sets of numbers? Yes, we have. Uh, that is six and eight are in common. So how do we call this event? This is non-mutually exclusive event. So then what is the formula? Uh, probability of even or uh, divisible by five is equal to probability of even number plus probability of divisible by five minus probability of even and divisible by five. So what is the probability of having an even number? That's going to be 4 out of 9. Total uh, number, is, there are 9 numbers, so 4 out of 9. Plus probability of divisible by 5, that's going to be, again, 4 over 9. Right? So then minus, uh, how many numbers in common here? How many numbers in common? It's 6 and 8, 2 numbers. So that's going to be 2 over 9. So that makes 4, 4, 8, 6 over 9. And when we simplify them, that makes 2 over 3. Okay. Let's look at the next question. A card is drawn. Find the probability of having jack or a diamond. Okay, a card is drawn. So only one event. And the question is or. So is this mutually exclusive or non-mutually exclusive? Now, how many jack we have? We have four jack, right? We have spade jack, we have diamond jack, hard jack, and what was that? Club jack. And the diamond, we have 13 cards. Is there anything in common? Yes, there is. One card is in common. What is it? Diamond jack. So it means that this is non-mutually exclusive event. So then how will I find the answer? Probability of having jack or diamond is equal to probability of having a jack plus probability of having a diamond minus probability of having jack and diamond. So what is the probability of having a jack? That's going to be 4 out of 52. What is the probability of having diamond? 13 out of 52. What is the probability of having jack and diamond? 1 out of 52, because there is only one card, which is jack and diamond. So that makes 17, 16 over 52. If you simplify by 4, that makes 4 over 13. The answer is, okay, the next question. A card is chosen at random from a deck of 52 playing cards. Found the probability that the card is a picture card and a black. Oh, okay, end question. So how many, um, what is it? How many uh, events are taking place here? It's only one card is chosen. So a card only, one event is taking place. So it's an end question. Then what is the probability of, probability of having a picture card? How many picture card we have? We have four jack, uh, we have four queen, and we have four king, right? So altogether 12. So 12 over 52 times out of these 12 cards, how many of them are black? We have two black jack, two black queen, and two black uh, king. So that makes six out of 12. So when we simplify that and simplify six and 12, 52, um, that makes, what is it? Three over um, 26. The answer is picture card is 12 out of 52 
and a and a Blake out of twelve cards is six over twelve, uh, so that, that that makes three over twenty six. Okay, the next is a king or a red card. Now, is there anything in common, king and red card? Yes, two king cards are red, heart king and uh, diamond king. So this is what non mutually exclusive events. So then probability of king or uh, king or red uh, is equal to probability of king plus probability of red minus probability of king and red. So what is the probability of having a king? 4 over 52. What is the probability of having a red card? We get altogether 26 red card. Minus probability of king and red, we have only two of them, 52. So that makes 28 over 52, 4 plus 26, 30 minus 2, 28, divided by 4, that makes 7 over 30 in the answer. All right, a dice is rolled twice. Find the probability of having same numbers. Two numbers are even. So when the question is a dice rolled twice, then you just write the outcomes. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, it can be. It can be 2, 1, 2, 2. Can be two one two 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 three two four two five two six. It can be three one three two three 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 four three five three six. It can be four one four two four three four 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 five four six. It can be five one five two five three five four five 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 six. It can be six one six two six three six four six five six six. All right, how many outcomes altogether? There are 36 outcomes altogether. Same numbers. So same numbers mean, uh, okay, same numbers. Which one same numbers? So it can be 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, and 6, 6. So the answer will be possible outcome 6 over 36. So that makes 1 over 6. Two numbers are even. So what two numbers are even? Two numbers must be even. This cannot be because one is odd number. Two numbers are even. We've got um, two two here. We got two four here. Two six here. Here cannot because three is odd. So it can be four two. It can be four four. It can be four six. Here cannot five uh, odd number. It can be six two. It can be six four. It can be six six. How many possible outcome are there? Three six nine. So the answer will be 9 out of 26, so that's going to be 1 over 4.